Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, from 1 July, uh, an exciting milestone for Australian families and for families in my electorate in Jagga Jagga as we make childcare cheaper. Uh, and as someone who has two small children myself, I do know just how essential a service childcare is. And in these times where families are facing very real cost of living pressures, how important it is that childcare is affordable. We know particularly for many working women, uh, being able to afford that extra day of childcare in a way that makes it uh, worthwhile you going back to work, in a way that means you're not just working an extra day to pay the fees makes a huge difference both in, in being able to take up that care and also in your um, career and opportunities throughout your life. So this is a landmark moment actually for our country. Uh, it is a landmark moment where our government shows that we get it. We understand modern working families. We understand the pressures that Australian families face. We understand the pressures that working women face. Uh, and we want to support families with that. And we, of course, want to support children uh, with access to the best quality early education that is out there. Uh, and I do, again, take the opportunity to thank all our early educators, particularly the early educators in Jagger Jagger and particularly the early educators who take care of my son every day. I get to see, uh, I do get to see every day uh, what amazing work you do and how you help shape um, our next generation. So thank you for all you do. Uh, and I look forward to uh, families in my community benefiting from cheaper childcare from 1 July. Deputy Speaker, it's not just uh, in childcare that um, our government is investing in the future of our children and in education. Uh, we have quality schools in Jagger Jagger, like we do right around the country. Uh, and I'm really pleased that we are able to have schools that cater for all different types of learning and all different types of children. And I had the privilege of recently visiting several local schools that have been recipients of grants through our government's Schools Upgrade Fund. And this included Briar Hill Primary School, Mary Immaculate School in Ivanhoe, and Montmorency South Primary School. And I do hope to be able to visit Parade College in Bandura soon uh, to share the good news of the investment we're making in that school in person too. And this fund is just one example of our government's commitment to education. It's supporting enhanced learning environments and providing updated technology, helping to foster an enriched educational experience for students. It was clear to me from my visits that the students and teachers at these schools are really looking forward to the opportunities that will come from these upgrades, uh, particularly in some of the new outdoor learning spaces that I know they're investing in. I really look forward to returning to see uh, all the projects once they're completed and to see the students benefiting from these new spaces. Deputy Speaker, our government gets investment in the youngest people in our community. We want to help them have the best possible start in life and education throughout their lives. Yeah.